A rocky friendship, a man questioned intensely by authorities, and a change story. It all played out in Gage County District Court in the murder trial of Joshua Keitel, charged with the 2010 killing of Tyler Thomas. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski was there as jurors listened to what he told investigators. For about an hour, jurors and the public hear what Joshua Keitel said happened when Tyler Ty Thomas went missing after a night of partying at Peru State College in December 2010. Keitel told investigators about how one day he would be cool with Ty, and the next, she wouldn't talk to him. Keitel admitted to seeing Ty walking near campus on December 3rd, but said he stayed in his room for the rest of the night except to run to his car. He learned she was missing from her friends in the dorms later. I think she did this at first for attention, but now I can't say that because of the magnitude it is, but I really, yeah. I think she doesn't want to look stupid by just walking. So do you think that she's still alive? Well, yes, yeah, why would I not think that? After time had passed, Keitel admitted to going to the river to smoke marijuana at about 2 a.m. December 3rd. He claimed he didn't see her and smoked alone. Investigators didn't buy it. But again, is there, like I said, is there any reason why her GPS would have had her down to the river, man? I have no clue, man. You were, like, asking me, like, I picked her up, took her down to the river. Me and her, she was not in my car. She's been in my car. Was she in my car that night? No. In a later interview that hasn't been played in court yet, prosecutors say Keitel admitted to taking Ty to the river, but claims he left her there alive. There was a lot of information that we found out at a later time that would show that Mr. Keitel's um, testimony was evolving as it went along. And as he figured that we had more information, it seemed to, uh, it seemed to um, change around that. During the interview, Keitel did admit that he gave Thomas rides before to get food, to go to the convenience store and back to the dorms, but didn't feel it was necessary to give her a ride when she didn't have a coat the night she went missing. Reporting in Beatrice, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.